What's up, family? So I just wanted to come on here and share a short testimony of something that happened um, this past weekend. Right, so I'm going to try to make a long story real short in my best ability. You feel me? Because it's going to need a little time. So please just bear with me. Watch the full video because it's, it's, it's some grace in it. It's a, it's a good revelation in all this and good encouragement. So long story short, um, this past weekend, I attended this prophetic conference, right? So uh, um, Prophet Jason, many of you may not know him, but a very deep guy, very wise guy. So it was filled with wisdom, filled like, I'm telling you, God bless his man truly. So, um, so first I flew to Boston to go meet up with my bros, right? So um, fast forward, we get there. We drive, we're, we're on the way, it's a road trip, right? We got we got a bunch of other friends with us. It's a road trip to um, to Washington, D.C. because we're off and to go to this conference, right? So everything cool, drives down there was powerful. It was amazing, just fun, good vibes. We get down there. I want to say the enemy was started working so early. Like, that's because, I truly believe that's because he didn't want us to go to this conference. He didn't want us to go receive the wisdom that we received, right? So Friday, or well, Thursday, we went down there to go get checked in the Airbnb, all this stuff. And then Friday was the first day of the conference. Saturday is the second day, right? But it was three sessions. The first session was Friday, then it was two sessions on Saturday. So fast forward, we get there. It's already complications. The devil already working. It's like we're not on time. We got we got an itinerary, but we're not like really going based on the itinerary. We're we're late on everything. We're it was, it was partially our fault, but it was the enemy working. Like things weren't going right with the transportation. Things weren't going right. It was just a lot of little small stuff left and right. But that didn't stop none of us. We kept going. Our day was good. We you know what I'm saying our days was good. We still tried to make the best of it because that's what God would want us to do, right? So. First day was Friday. We get there, powerful day. You know what I'm saying? It was a real light day, but it was powerful. Like, we got so much wisdom that day. Everything was great. We got home real late. Another thing I feel like the devil, the enemy was just working on, it was this was lack of sleep. We were doing everything and getting getting to every location late so that by the time we all got situated in the house, everybody had to shower. Everybody had to, you know, get ready. So we went to sleep so late that we had to wake up for our next session tired. Like, but it was cool because by no means were we going to miss the word of God. You feel me? So um, fast forward to Saturday. This this one, <laughs> this one, it got real. Like this one, it got real. So we had to split into groups. Basically, like he wanted everybody to come um, to the to the conference at different times to let everybody not come in at once. So uh, the conference started at 1030 a.m., but the group I was in had to come around like 1020 something. So basically the last time. So um we got there at 1020, you know what I'm saying? We went in, conference, boom, it started. It was very powerful, very, very heavy. I was getting filled with the words. So Prophet Jason, you know, he told us to take a little intermission, a little break. So we all, we all went outside, you know what I'm saying? We all went to our cars, did what we had to do. So if you know me, I'm, I'm, I be eating snacks and stuff like that. So I went to, the first thing I'm doing is going to get a snack. Like I was like, dang, I'm hungry, let me go outside. So so the first thing I noticed, right? I go outside, I get to the car, I noticed my, my coat, hanging out of my the front seat and i'm like i'm like i i know when i leave my car i close the door and nothing's hanging out nothing there's, there's nothing weird happening like that so that's automatically weird to me then i'm looking for my food i'm looking for stuff in the front seat that i don't see that i remember putting there so i'm just like all right okay so i look down i don't see my backpack then my suitcase right when i travel i don't travel with a lot so if i if i do bring a lot of stuff I'm going to fit everything in that suitcase and then the rest of the miscellaneous stuff and important stuff in that backpack. So my suitcase was in the back seat, but you would say, why did you, why, why didn't you just put it in the trunk? But it was so much stuff in the trunk. My suitcase is too big to fit. That don't matter. My suitcase is in the back seat. So I looked to the back seat. My suitcase was in there. So immediately I just went like this. I was just like, I needed a second to just literally process. I literally just lost all my stuff. I lost over eight thousand dollars. I lost my hard drive with my album. I lost all my clothes, my shoes. I lost some AirPod Pro Maxes. All this stuff is miscellaneous, though. All this stuff could be replaced. All this stuff could be replaced. But in that moment, when you lose so much stuff, you just like, dang, bro. Like I really just lost everything. Like, like how am I get home? Like the only thing that was left, and this is the craziest thing about it. This is when a revelation comes in, right? I later on found out that just in the area we're in in Washington, even though I know it happens a lot of places 
But in this area that we were in, in Washington, I guess it's a thing, like a hobby for people to just go down the street and just pull on your car to see which one open. They successfully got into the car I was in. And it's not funny, but it's just like, it's crazy. But um, they got into the car I was in, right? Got everything, went went crazy, like, went berserk. <laughs> they took everything. So the only thing I can think of is like, okay, now it's praise and worship time. Like, we already done missed the break. I missed half of his teaching. It's the praise and worship time. I don't think of soul king. I don't think of, like, questioning God. I don't think of nothing. I go inside and I praise. I, I, I praise and worship like I like I haven't lost anything. This was all a blessing in disguise. And this is where, this where the revelation comes in. God will never leave you or forsake you. And that's in his word, right? Second, the word was with God. In the beginning, the word was with God. The word was God, right? So it's crazy. It's ironic because the one thing I didn't lose is my Bible, right? The Bible was in a car. The one thing I didn't lose, they didn't take the Bible. They took everything else but the Bibles, right? So I'm thinking in my head, all right, God will never leave me, right? He will never leave or forsake me. He will never leave me. I kept playing it in my head. God will never leave my side, no matter what. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. The Word was God. So God, this Word right here, there's something about this Word not leaving me. And I know y'all can be like, eh, whatever. But that it was deep to me that everything was stolen but my Bible. So I, it was a peace within me because of that, right? So... Fast forward, like, I go in, I praise. Everybody comforting me, all my bros, everybody there comforting me, everything telling me, like, don't worry about this, bro. God gonna elevate you. It's always a blessing on the other side. Instruction, it's always a blessing. God is so intentional that he may have you go through so much stuff, but just to, if you keep that faith, if you still believe in him, he like, all right, watch, watch this. You just lost this, but watch what I can give you, right? So another thing that came, another book, my favorite book in the Bible, Job, obviously that came to my head, right? Obviously, it wasn't as deep and as crazy as Job, but it's still, the message is still the same, right? But the one thing that I love about the book of Job is, no matter everything, Job lost his kids. He lost all his animals. He lost all his finances. He even had diseases. He even had stuff to come on, mess with his health. The devil came to God knowing that Job was blameless, knowing that Job was a good person, knowing that Job had a heart for him. So, in the devil mind, he like, well, I, I won't even, I don't even want to mess with him because I know I know he one of your best servants. I know he, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to mess with Job. But guess what God did? He allowed it. God said, yes, you can do whatever you want to Job. Just don't kill him. Just don't take his life. Don't take him, right? Because the one thing I love about Job is Job never questioned God. No matter what happened, he lost everything. He never questioned God once. He, he questioned his own existence. He never questioned the Lord. Why did you do this to me? Like, dang, I don't, like, why did, why, like, why me? He never questioned God. He never lost faith. He never said, Lord, I'm, I don't want to do this no more. Just because you let me lose all this, I don't want to do it no more. But he, but he kept faith. What was the outcome of that? Job, was everything was double. Everything was replaced. It was double. You know what I'm saying? So what the Lord does sometimes, he may allow things, right? He may allow, you may think this is your worst day of your life. The Lord will allow things just to see. Are you going to keep faith in me? Are you still going to believe in me though? Is this little thing that's, that's, in this world gonna make you leave me when i'm with you forever job job didn't leave he never he never once left the lord he never once questioned him and, and he was blessed double right so that's why i look at my situation like i'm not here to to want i don't want pity i don't want anything i'm not asking anybody for anything i just want y'all to see i'm still here i'm still talking to y'all i'm still happy my i got peace i'm i'm happy i'm happy with the lord but i just lost so much stuff like and I didn't just lose. Like, y'all would be like, yeah, just close the shoe. I, I don't think y'all understand. I almost packed my whole closet in a suitcase. Like, so I lost, like, five pairs of shoes. Like, almost $3,000 in cash. They, they they took my debit card and took a lot, about, like, six, seven thousand 7000 off of it. I forget. I forget the exact number. So, I lost so much money. But the thing is, I didn't lose my mind. <laughs> and I didn't lose God. So, that's the only thing I need, right? So, I, obviously, it, it hit me a little bit when I when it first happened. But as, as the days kept going by, I'm like... Oh, see, the enemy thought he got me. He, he thought he won. So that just that put a fire in me to keep going. So the first thing I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, all right. So I'm 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 good. I'm good. People obviously still comforting me. They're like, bro, you you good? Like, I'm straight. Like, I'm straight. It's not it's not the best thing that can happen to you, but it is at, at the end of the day. Cause just I took it as like, okay, now God got something great. He got something planned for me. So I say all this to just encourage y'all to keep faith in, in the Lord. He will never leave you. Like, if you're struggling right now with your faith, if you're struggling with with doubt like like he not answering my prayers he don't got me the lord got you that's all i'm gonna say the lord got you you have to believe that so 
to end this message, I just want to encourage all y'all to just stay true. Stay true to him. Stay. He's the only way. Just stay true to God, and God will never leave you. Like I said, the one thing that was there with me was my Bible still. So I just thought that was so deep, and I just wanted to share that with y'all because I, I see all y'all as family. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have to come on here and share that. But I was originally supposed to have a listening party for my album coming up. Um, like I said, my, my uh, hard drive was also stolen with my album on it, so I got to get some things in order with that. The album's still going to drop, but I'm not doing a listening party next month just to, you know what I'm saying, just to get back in order with a lot of things. But um, the album's still going to drop, and I got a show coming in Atlanta and at the end of March, so be on the lookout for that. But other than that, um, love all y'all. God loves all y'all, and just keep your faith. That's it.